We've survived what should have been unsurvivable, our trip through hell, and have arrived back in the Delta Complex. Let's step no forward here. Hell no longer needs that portal to enter this world. It may be solved in the first place. The hell gate is capable of sending millions of my children into your world. Soon, the fleet from Earth will be here, and with their ships, we will bring this hell to Earth. But Trugo seems pretty pleased with himself. He's ran away though, he was at that window. So, there's another portal somewhere letting uh, demons in. Oh Jesus, I thought it completely blacked out there for a second. Let's drop down here. Oh my goodness, finally we have a flashlight once again. It's just the body of that guy that got thrown, chased through by a Hell Knight. I wonder if we're going to see those in the Mars complex. Hand grenades here as well. Remember when I said we'd never once been attacked in one of these crawl spaces? I have a feeling one of those cherubs is going to come at us. Is this a bad idea? What weapons have I got here? Damn it, he's still alive up there. Yes. Got him. Got a chain gun as well. Uh, let's grab this. Oh, hang on. Okay. Is this the end of the level already? Surely not. Ammo belt there. What happened here? What's this way? Oh. It's the corridor we went through just before stepping into the portal that took us to hell. It looks even bloodier than it was before. Chainsaw, okay, we're re-establishing our weapons. Maybe they all just got blasted around the room when we stepped through that portal. Or maybe they fell into that kind of whirling abyss we saw. Just, right, I'm just checking everything was loaded there and seeing what my ammo situation is like. Let's try and use this for a bit. Is this the end? Surely not. No, it was not. Jesus. Ah, oh, yes, there was the... Oh! Where are you? You look slightly... Oh, I'm trapped here. Slightly different than what I've seen before. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Let's use the soul cube, see how it works. Unleash it. Seriously now, when did these stop? Thank god that's over. Ridiculous. Take this. Got ya. Oh, oh god no. Okay. Two clips. Let's stick to this. No, let's not. Let's go back to this weapon. Mate. Where are we going from here? This way. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, no, managed to get out. Whatever you do, don't fall back down. I almost stepped off the ledge there. What fool I was. Take that. Ugh. This is too far. Oh, waste of a last grenade there. Oh no, apparently it wasn't because that was perfect and purely accidental. Right, so get a quarter we got here. I feel like we've been through this area before as well. Oh, shotgun, okay, good stuff. We've almost got our full arsenal back here, missing the shotgun, uh, sorry, no, the uh, rocket launcher and the BFG. This seems familiar, I think we came through this door once before, I seem to remember looking under a staircase and seeing that. 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I need a bigger gun. Something just spawned in behind me. Get lost. I'll take these. Oh Jesus. Do not like that sound effect. I think to see here. Oh no. Take this. Get lost. Damn it. Why did I switch to this weapon? Damn it. Oh! That one seemed a, a wee bit tougher. Let's try to blow out a machine gun there so I could continue to hold the range over that guy. Big gun. Oh, okay. No. We're fine there. Uh, let's make sure we're ready for whatever's waiting at the bottom. Heard a zombie there. Oh, damn it! Oh god, why did these guys do so much damage? Okay, let's make another step at this here. Be ready for him. There he is. We're still alive. I'm much lower on plasma this time around because I raced through the level and used it in abundance just to get back to this position. Because, oh, Jesus. Damn it, rockets. Wish I had some plasma right now. go. This area seemed familiar as well. I think an imp jumped out from behind that at one point when we were last passing through. I think it's just a repeat of previous areas. Yeah, this is... Oh look, and here's the... yeah. We were at this aid station earlier on as well. Okay, hang on. Alright. Delta Authority. Let's do a quick overview of our weapons. Not good. That's okay. This is hopeless. Hang on, I'm not done here. Let's be ready for something. Okay, we went through this door last time, so I think this door has opened up. Let's head this way. Ooh! <gasps> Still alive. It's Governor Swan. John Jonathan Price himself. Sergeant's gone. They've got to him. I don't know how long he's been working against us. Uh, he's no longer human. Campbell went after him. He's got to be stopped. <coughs> Hell is breaking through in the caverns. If that portal isn't closed before those ships arrive, Earth will be destroyed. Earth. <coughs> That's what they've always wanted. They were there once. Lost it in the dawn of time. Now it's so close. They can taste it. It's up to you now. <laughs> Take my PDA, it's got what you need. Good luck. So then, Sergeant Kelly is working against us and has been for who knows how long. When we saw him in the Delta Complex, um, he still looked human, but then so does Betruga. Someone's already ransacked whatever goodies were in that crate. Got some clips here, that's good. It could be, yeah, he was heading to CPU, I think he said, uh, when we saw him on that screen at the start of the Delta Complex. I'm too beat up. I'll slow you down. I'll try to make it out on my own. It's up to you now. I don't rate your chances very highly there. So long, Governor Swan. Maybe Kelly has been working with Petruga. Listen. Oh my god. This entire t time. Because it was Kelly who asked us to go and call for the fleet. Hang on, we didn't check his PDA. Where are we going from here? Something. Oh, I see. There's another level there. Okay, hang on. Before we go any further, check the PDA in a nice safe spot. 
Uh, Elliot Swan. Here we go. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 15, 2145. This entire research facility is in chaos. There's at least a 90% death rate among civilian personnel. Whatever Petruca unleashed is literally consuming the base. People have been turned into some sort of undead creatures that are relentless. Campbell and I are making our way towards the communications facility. We must stop all communications. If a distress call leaves the base, then everyone here and on Earth is doomed. So that was an audio log made uh, before we saw them blowing up the communications facility. Thankfully, we uh, recognized what they were up to and, and didn't fall for Kelly's trap. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 16, 2145. Campbell and I were unable to reach the main portal in the Delta Complex, but that portal may be inconsequential to a more disturbing discovery. We have uncovered reference to another portal, created by the demons themselves, a passageway between Hell and Mars. We suspect it resides within the cavern somewhere near the archaeological dig. The fleet is on its way. Campbell and I will attempt to move there and somehow either shut it down or destroy it. That... that... hellhole must be closed before the fleet arrives. Okay, we have our objective then. Head to the caverns, the excavation sites, and uh, close this hellhole. See if he's got... Yes, he does. Okay. UAC Board, Mars Research Post. Dear Councillor Swan, the Board has unanimously approved a resolution for a full operations review of the Mars Research Facility. You've been designated as our official representative in this matter, and we suggest full preparation begin today. We expect a complete appraisal of all research developments, both current and future directions, must be brought in line with the Board's expectations. We must be able to control Dr. Petruga. His extra-dimensional research is a potential risk to the teleportation experimentation, which we cannot afford. There is so much similarity between Doom 3 and Half-Life, it's kind of almost not funny. Uh, the Board considers teleportation the UAC's single most important scientific endeavour, and is not willing to jeopardise its dominance in this area of research. Anticipate a formal briefing and itinerary in the next few days. Liz McNeil. Uh, that's a name. Elizabeth McNeil. I think it's the same person. Uh, looking forward to your arrival. Councillor Swan, I was pleased to hear of the board's decision to have you investigate the current state of the UAC on Mars. I become more and more worried about Dr. Petruca's research direction, and my hope is that the intervention will bring much leading changes. Uh, I've been. I've also learned that I've been reassigned by Dr. Petruca to a post back on Earth. Although this is disappointing, I do fear for my safety and sanity if I were to stay here. I hope your intervention won't be too late. I look forward to meeting with you back on Earth once your visit is concluded. Uh, so this was a month and a half ago, so she might actually have made it out. I think we already had saw that in our own PDA. She left it behind, though. Uh, UAC Board Review. Councillor Swan. Oh, from Pachuca himself. Councillor Swan. I've been extremely patient with the board to date, but the decision for a full operations review is hard for me to stomach. There is no need for you to come to Mars, and there is no need for this review. All I need is more money and more time. The research being conducted here will change mankind in ways no one can imagine. Our research is beginning to yield amazing results, which I cannot allow to be compromised. Don't waste your time coming here, Swan. You will only get in my way and impede the outstanding work we're doing here. Sincerely, Malcolm Petruga. Right, moving on. Let's actually see where we're going. Ooh, oh, Here in like a hot. Jesus, those noises are loud. I had like a proper uh, static there or something. Oh, okay. Got caught up on the floor panel. Crushed by a wall. Hang on, we don't know what's down here. What's so bigger gun? Oh no. Damn it, something just spawned in behind me as well. Damn it. God damn it, man. Oh no. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh god, really not good. I see you, or I hear you. Stop. Holy crap. PDA. Wow, that was quite an ambush there too. Look at this. And we weren't here that, that long ago. I wouldn't even step into this. This whole thing would just constrict around you. I mean, imagine. Oh. That's where we crawled through earlier. Let's check out that PDA. 
this hasn't changed. I wonder if the, this even did reflect the time as I was hypothesizing earlier. Check our, what have we got? Bruce Jackson here, Martian buddy. Drowning in debt, lost all your money, job not paying you enough, woman took all your credits. Don't worry, Martian buddy has got you covered. You can earn extra credits every week by helping us in our direct marketing campaign. All you need to do is send out emails from the comfort of your own computer and rake in the credits. It's that easy. Security assignment. Bruce, you've been assigned to the CPU, uh, CPU complex effective immediately. We've had numerous reports of computer break-ins and security breaches there in the last few weeks. I've placed a rocket launcher in the cabinet near the security checkpoint. The door code is 571. I know a rocket launcher might seem excessive, but the people tend to listen when you point it at them. Be careful over there, and remember to report anything uh, odd immediately. Michael Abrams, that's another name we have seen, I'm sure of it. Or maybe it was just mentioned in somebody else's... PDA, there he is. Uh, has he got any logs? None. Okay. 571, I think it was. I've already forgotten. 571. Okay. Right. Okay. I guess we're heading this way. We have got the pass here. God. something down here. Grab this. Oh no. Hang on. I have something. Take this. Glad you're laughing. What have we got here? Information general. Point us to remember when opening sacrificial portals. What's that say? I said kill you or something there. Death. It's flashing too quickly for me to read it, but I'm getting like a... I don't know, some kind of... I can download this. Hang on, what the hell am I about to read here? Hang on, is this the end of the level? I think it is. Clips. It is, okay, right. Well, we're just gonna read this uh, download then, and then we're done here. Let's check this out. Our time is here. Soon the humans will suffer eternal torment, as spoken uh, of in the prophecy. We will feast upon their souls. When opening sacrificial portals, as it is important to remember, virgin blood is best. Goat blood must be no older than three days. Entrails must be removed and apportioned either before death or no later than 30 minutes before death. Uh, candles must be sorted by tallest in back to shortest in front, never the other way around. You'll open a portal to hell if you do that. Uh, sorry, to, to heaven. Most important, pentagrams must be drawn from the centre to the outside and left to right. Useful information. Anyway, into the CPU complex.